Hello. So, first of all, I'd like to say this is the first episode in my, um, series. Series. Alright, so this is gonna be a series. As N, you know, as E goes from 1 to 7. Of E plus one equals education. I'm gonna make a math video every day to celebrate my channels, my YouTube channels. I have a math video every day for a week to celebrate my channel's five year anniversary. <coughs> so let's do this. Now, episode one, we're going to be learning how to graph functions. The first function we got is a linear function, 2x. Now, <laughs> let's start off at x equals 1. So, this is x equals 1. So, 1 times 2. So, 1 times 2 equals 2. That means... Um, Let's say this is 2, so this is the first point. So, basically, x is x is the x-axis value. You decide what the x-axis value is. And the y value is the value you get when you apply the function to the, um, what's it called? When you apply the function to the input. Next try, let's try x equals 2. x equals 2 of um, this function, 4. Now, I told you this is a linear function. And linear functions always graph as straight lines, meaning we only need really two points in order to determine the graph of it. Now all we can do is we can get our ruler tool. I said our ruler tool. Here, all right, get our ruler tool and just draw a straight line with these two points. Now, that's what we got. Now, let's look at this. <clears throat> so, the slope of this line. So, this, if you write this in slope intercept form, it's 2x plus 0. Now, let's write this in slope intercept form. So, this is slope intercept form. Well, the slope of this line, 1, Two, three. No, one, two, two. Okay. Now, the slope of this line is two over. So it's two over one. So two. The slope is two. Slope. And this is the y-intercept. So at what point does it does the y-intercept? Wait. What? What? That's a right triangle. But here is where it meets the Y. Okay. X equals zero. Yeah. It, meet it, it meets it at X equals zero. Therefore, that's Y intercept. So we've done this function. Well,.
so that was a linear function. Let's try a quadratic one. x squared. Now, at x equals 1, that's 1 squared equals 1. So, <clears throat> 1, 1, this is 1. Now, quadratics never graph as straight lines, therefore we may need a little more than two points. <laughs> so next is that 2 squared equals 4. This is x equals is the x value 2, and this is the y value 4. Now, this isn't, now, this isn't necessarily did it say this isn't necessarily this definitely is not a linear function so let's do more things let's try negative one squared one so uh negative one it's the same negative two squared equals four so still same what did i just do Still same. And don't forget, 0 squared equals 0. So there. There. Now, we can connect the dots. This is a para. They say that you should draw it as precisely as possible as a smooth curve, but I honestly don't really know what a smooth curve is. But anyways, this is a parabola. Now, that's how you graph that function. Now, instead of learning how to graph cubics, Let's learn how to solve a quadratic by graphing. <clears throat> so first of all, we have x squared. Now what we can do is we can add in the invisible terms. And then what we can do is we can, we can use quadratic formula. So Now, basically, we can now simplify this semi nugget. The solution to this equation is plus minus zero. <coughs> <coughs> that is where it meets the x axis. That's that is x intercept. Well, uh, let's graph that again. At where does the function equal zero is the more accurate definition. This time that I drew the parabola even worse. Now the function equals zero. X squared zero um, equals zero. The only number when squared equals zero is zero, meaning the root is zero. 
and how do we know that? This is the only point on the on the gra on the function graph that equals zero. Now we got the same answer from graphing. Got the same answer from graphing as from the quadratic formula. So basically, look at what point of the function equals zero. Now, now that you have a point on the function equals zero, <coughs> so look, what am I trying to say? So, um, look at where the function intercepts zero. Yeah, that's what I mean, okay? So look for the x-intercepts of the function. The x-intercept of the function is the root of the function. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.